The minority is determined to continue the Occupy BOG protest on September 5 to pressure the Bank of Ghana governor, Dr. Ernest Adesing, and his deputies to resign amid allegations of mismanagement. Despite concerns about public safety by the police, the minority remains steadfast in its course. Addressing a public forum on the theme, the collapse of Bank of Ghana, a reflection of failed leadership organized by Arise Ghana, Boko Central MP and Deputy Ranking Member of the Constitutional Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee, Muhammad Yariga, emphasized that resignations alone are not enough to address the collapse of the Bank of Ghana. That any person who contravenes a provision of the Act has committed an offence, and upon summary conviction, a person is to suffer not less than 500 penalty units or not less than two years uh, no more than two years imprisonment. So the offense is clear. He hasn't denied it. The pun punishment is, is, is clearly defined. At any time in his life, he can be subjected to prosecution, whether this government does it or not. I mean, I demand that the Office of Special Prosecutor should look into the procurement issue. Minority leader Dr. Case Lotto Forcing alleged that the Bank of Ghana mismanagement worsens extreme poverty, emphasizing urgency for change. All of us should be worried because ultimately the Ghanaian taxpayer would be required to recapitalize the Bank of Ghana. Their reckless mismanagement of the central bank also resulted in a loss of 60 point 8 billion Ghana cities causing a negative equity of 55.1. We, the minority in parliament, do not believe that those who cause the mess at the Bank of Ghana, Addison the printer and his two deputy printers are capable of fixing this, uh, of, of this mess that they created themselves. Adding his perspective, political commentator Chrissy Pratt Jr. raised concerns about the purported independence of the Bank of Ghana, calling into question its autonomy. This nonsense, absolute nonsense of the independence of the Bank of Ghana and its governor and so on must be thrown into the waste paper basket, must be thrown into the dustbin. It has no relevance to our history. While the police are seeking an injunction to prevent the protest, the minority remains optimistic that the legal efforts to hold their demonstration will be unsuccessful. Noble Crosby and TV3 News, Accra.